Okay, we've been working with percents for uh, maybe two weeks. This is probably the trickiest uh, thing that I've tried to show you. And I just wanted to have uh, one of these examples on the video. Bobby bought a book that was 75% of the original price. If Bobby paid $4.49, how much did the book originally cost? Let's get this out of the way right now. This will lead you into a world of trouble. If you jump straight in and you just go, hey, this is just like all the others. Because as soon as you get to this point right here and you say 0.75 times $4.49, you actually get $3.36. And and really it would, would take the uh, nearest penny up to $3.37 after you round right here so you're saying that for a book that he paid 449 he actually only paid 337 at this point if you're asking yourself why is this happening it's, it's because you failed to realize that when you said 75 percent of four dollars and 49 cents is three dollars and 37 cents did we ask you what's 75 percent of what he paid no he paid this and we know that it was 75 percent of the original price so, we've got a little bit of uh, work to do with changing how we look at this. I know that he paid 75%. I just don't know of what. But I know that 75% of this unknown number is the answer of $4.49. It's just this time we, we want this amount. So, rather than putting a question mark there, uh, let's put a P in there for price. Okay, so 75% of the original price is $4.49. Let's go ahead and turn it into an equation. 75% is 0.75. It needs to multiply the original price, and I'm just going to represent that with a P. And when you set when you set the variable next to a number, it means that it's multiplying. So 0.75P, but it really means 75% of the price. This equal sign here could be called is. 75% of the original price is $4.49. Okay? Now, when we look at a simple equation like 2x equals 8, it's the same idea of when a number is sitting next to a variable, it's multiplying. So it's not just 2x, it's 2 times p or excuse me, 2 times x equals 8. How do we solve? Well, if we multiply, we will divide by the number itself, the coefficient, and divide the other side by the same number, and x would be equal to 4. And we know this is true because 2 times 4 equals 8. Now, the decimal here scares a lot of people, but it shouldn't be a big deal because all it's doing is multiplying. So we can divide it by itself. And so that equals 1. And it frees the P up. And now we just divide 4.49 by 0.75. And guess what happens? We get 5.986. And at this point, if you've gotten overwhelmed uh, with numbers and, and everything else, um, you, you might not know exactly what your calculator is trying to tell you. Well, this is where it comes in handy to remember that this is money. So we probably should have put a money sign there. And let's put a money sign here. So this is $5.98, but what do we do with this extra decimal that keeps repeating? How about we just round it up? The book cost $5.99 originally. This problem scares you? No problem. Go back to what you know. What is 75% of $5.99? Now, this is what we've been doing over and over, and I've been told by you all that, oh, this is so easy, we like this. So how about we go check it? 0.75 times $5.99 equals 4.4. 
And if you start to, to panic, remember it said round to the nearest cent. We had 599. When we found 75% of it, this is what we got. This third decimal would say, hey, keep it at 449. Everything checks out. Life is good. And this is about the hardest problem that you'll see on a percent, um, in my opinion, as far as trying to set it up. So I hope this uh, gives you a chance to look this example over. Um, you could actually start to change it uh, with some of your own numbers and percents. Uh, maybe instead of having it as a hideous um, $4.49, maybe you make it a nice even round $75. And then if you could work backwards to see if the original price was 100, you'd get a little bit more confidence with this. Um, come see me anytime you need help, though.